Welcome back aliens, my name is David Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. In this video, we will see how do you put comments in Python. Now first of all, why do we need comments? Now think about this, when you write a code, of course your code will have a lot of statements, right? Now sometimes you write a code for let's say 10 lines or maybe 15 lines or maybe sometimes it goes for let's say 100 lines and you don't even write one file. So for a big project, of course you will writing multiple files, maybe 10 files, 20 files. Now what happens, you know, when you write a code for the first time and if you're writing it, everything goes well, okay, everything is working, maybe sometimes you will get errors. But what if it works? The moment it works, you will skip it and you will go for the next one, right? After one week, even you will not remember what you did. So there's a very famous quote which is, when I was writing this code, only God and I knew what I am doing. And now only God knows. So that's what happens, okay? So after some time, you will not remember what you did last time and why you have written that function. Okay, not just you. So let's say if you're working in a group, okay? Or maybe if you're working on a project and after some time, someone else will be working on that project, they need to understand what you did. And that's where comments comes into picture. So what you do is, let's say if you're writing a function, so about that function, you will write some statement or some comment example. This function is used for accounting purpose, okay? This function is responsible to handle all the exceptions. This function is responsible to handle the login and logout part. So you have to mention the comments as well. Now it is not specific to any functions or something. You can also write comments for the classes. You can also write comments for the individual statement, right? But how will you write a comment? You cannot simply type a text there, right? Because if you write a simple text, your Python parser, your Python compiler will try to convert that thing, which whatever you have written into a Python code. But that's not possible, right? Because you are writing a normal English. And that's why you have to ask Python parser, hey, ignore this statement. And the way you do that is by saying hash. So we use hash to give a comment in Python. But then in different languages, we have different types of comments, right? We have single line comment, we have multi-line comment. Example in C also we have this concept, in Java also we have this concept. What about Python? In Python, basically, we only have one thing, which is single line comment. So what if you want to write five to six lines as well, you have to mention hash on every line, okay? That's the standard way. Even if you have five lines of statements or five lines of comment, always use hash. But then you might have seen that triple quotes thing, okay? So triple double quotes thing, how that works. So basically, we can use multi-line comment using triple quotes as well, okay? So we can do that, but don't do it because we don't use triple quotes as a comment, okay? Because your parser will not ignore it because it is used for special purpose. It is used for documentations. Okay, now what is documentation? So basically, you know, in some of the videos I have shown you, so when we jump to some of the methods, when you click on that method, it, it will show the documentation right uh, so same way you can create documentation for yourself as well so when you write a project if you want someone else to look at your documentation you can do that you can create a doc string sort of stuff uh, you can export that doc in html format you can export that doc in text format which will be very helpful for other developers right so if you want to create documentation then only use triple quotes don't just write uh, comments in triple quotes by default so if you know that you are creating documentation then only use triple quotes otherwise use that hash for a single line comment even if you have five lines of comment use hash so i hope this video was helpful let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos Bye bye